What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is a free channel collected reading for Santa Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Average of your chart. So, if you get the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free, free general collective reading for Santa Leo. This is from mid July of 2022 to the end of July of 2022. However, everyone's all different how my life has. So, for some of you guys, it can start resonating now. For some, mid July for some after July only you know your specific story and situation not anybody else you have to plug these messages in how they resonate and apply to your own particular story and situation these are um, psychic intuitive prophetic messages so one message may apply two may apply two plus may apply none may apply only you know your particular story and situation not anybody else you have to plug it in how it resonates okay love and appreciate each and every one of you guys uh, we're at 13,310 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below, if you'd like to donate. Okay, so um, I received a couple channelings as I was meditating on Leo's energy for mid-July of 2022. And the first one I got was a Leo feminine is about to sleep with her boss to get a promotion soon. That was the first one. And the second one I heard, um, a Leo Femme reader is secretly working behind the scenes with a very karmic um, Libra feminine energy. However, it's about to seriously backfire in her face in a huge way. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Karmic Leo reader. Karmic Leo reader. Leo feminine. Leo feminine. Okay. So heavy Leo Femme energy in here. So we have uh, Leo Feminine in a workspace situation right now. It sounds like in the current energetic space. I heard she's about to sleep with her boss soon to get a promotion. Um, that is about to backfire in a huge way too. A huge way. Okay, I heard that's about to backfire in a huge way too. A huge way. So it sounds like she hasn't slept with, uh, with him yet. It's masculine energy. It sounds like she's about to sleep with. Um, I heard it strictly to get a promotion, so she doesn't really have feelings for him or emotions for him. It's sex wand energy here. It's sex magic. Uh, I think she's putting sex magic on his ass or has, because um, I heard it's about to seriously backfire on her, so I think it might be sex magic. I didn't hear it was, but it might be. Um, carnal energy. Uh, it's strictly to get a promotion. Um. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming. So her upcoming sleeping with the boss, masculine boss, either her boss or somebody else's boss, is about to seriously backfire. I do feel sex magic energy there. I didn't hear that, but I intuitively feel it. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's the first one. The second one is a karmic Leo Fem reader. Um, online social media platform. Online social media platform. So she has an online social media platform, karmic Leo reader. Heard she is secretly working behind the scenes with the karmic Libra feminine energy. But I heard that is about to seriously backfire in her face in a huge way, too. A huge, huge, huge way. Her business is about to start going down in a huge negative way. It's about to shock the hell out of her. Okay, I heard a huge, huge, huge negative way. It's about to shock the hell out of her. So, two karmic... Fem Leo's in, in the universe. One of them's in a workspace situation. One is a online uh, social media platform. Karmic Leo Fem Reader. Both of these situations I heard about the backfire on them in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's some serious low vibrational karmic energy if I've ever heard it. You plug it in how it resonates. And a, uh, and a Leo Reader... Tune in, Leo Reader, online social media platform. She used to be very low vibrational. However, she she has become very high vibrational. And through many series of chain events, her platform is about to flourish in huge ways. And a significant call to the FBI soon, releasing information on a very karmic Libra feminine of the past is about to become very significant in her life as well. 
Okay, so we have three, three. Okay, so a low vibrational Leo femme reader of the past with an online social media platform too. She used to be low vibrational in the past, but I heard she's very high vibrational now, so she's really raised her vibration. She treats people with honesty, trust, respect, goals, values, ethics, and integrity. Now, she didn't in the past, um, but she has an online social media platform too. I heard her business is about to start flourishing in a very positive way. Uh, maybe she has struggled or maybe not. I don't know. But I, I heard with her a very significant call to the FBI soon regarding a very low vibrational Libra femme of the past for her is about to become very significant in her life. So we've got heavy karmic, well, heavy karmic Leo femme energy in these two. This one used to be low vibrational, used to be karmic, is not anymore. Heavy Libra femme karmic energy. Uh, this person used to deal with the Libra femme karmic of the past. This one is currently dealing with one. This one's sleeping with her boss to get a promotion. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have reflected. If you think anyone else would like my channel, you guys, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. I just heard try again. Um, I'm a single mom of two kids, um, so it helps support a single mom of two kids in one of her income streams. I very, very, very much appreciate it. Uh, from the bottom of my heart chakra, I really, really, really would appreciate it, you guys. Um, just saying, just saying. Also, if everybody could think of me, July 15th is my court date. Um, child custody battle hearing. Um, it's at least child custody battle hearing. Uh, well, it's not child custody battle hearing. It's at least court date number five with my ex-husband. At least. I'm thinking it more more would be like six or seven. And that's just the truth. Uh, at least five. Uh, it's on July 15th of 2022. If anybody, uh, anybody prays or meditates or whatever you do and however, whatever your spiritual preference is or religious preference or whatever you do in the religious realm or not religious realm. I would appreciate it. No judgments on religion here or any judgments, period, unless you're a pedophile or a thief. And that's just the truth. Um, I would appreciate it. All the thoughts and well wishes on that. Um, he's put me through the ringer. Uh, he really, really, really has. So um, I haven't done anything. I'm not an unfit mom to get my kids taken away. So hopefully I'm hoping and praying for a very fair and just justice here. And um the judge and can see that um what he has been doing which has basically just been draining my money um he's basically just been taking me to court battle after court battle after court battle after court battle to drain my money two of those were child support adjustments back when i had a nursing job and his uh his wife did not at the time uh, which i understood those the last one was for child abuse and i don't abuse my child or children and um this one is more crazy accusations so i mean i've been lawyering ring up every time i get private lawyers that have to pay thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars in legal fees to defend myself against this man on false accusations when I shouldn't have to, when I should be able to put that money into my mortgage or put that money into vacation or put that money into my kids. But instead, he just drains, drains, drains my account to where I can't spend my hard-earned money on my children and I have to fight him in legal battle after legal battle after legal battle. So if everybody could please think of me, I very much appreciate it because it's basically legal abuse is what he's doing. And he has an extra income because he's married to to support him i don't i'm a single mother so it's really sickening but i'm not going to give up because my kids are my everything and that's just the truth that's the truth so if everybody could just think of me i very much appreciate it and i want to say too while i'm shuffling out back when i had a boyfriend about six years ago which i haven't had a boyfriend since then But, um, about six years ago when I had a boyfriend, um, he, he manipulated my daughter back when I, I've lived here for five years. I've owned this home for five years in the city. 
when I lived in the country about six years ago when I was dating that guy, um, he manipulated my daughter to um, go around with a device, a phone that he magically bought her at that time and had her take photos of my uh, ex-boyfriend's um, or boyfriend at the time, rather, but, uh, like clothes and stuff that I'd put in a drawer for him and um, toothpaste and razors and stuff because he lived 45 minutes away from me. So he wanted his stuff there when he came and visited, you know, um, to prove that he lived with me because um, he wanted it as evidence of the court of law, basically, when he took me in. Um, true story. And he had her videotape. Um, I'm not videotape. He had her um, put a streaming on like Google Duo, I think it was, um, and walk around my home to see if there was anybody in my home. True story. Back when I was dating that guy, I had to tell her no, no, we don't do that. We don't do that. That's violating people's privacy, and that's just the truth. So um, it's that's just that's the last time. That's not this time. So. If everybody could just think of me, I'd very much appreciate it because this guy is seriously off his rocker mentally. And I'm serious. He really, really, really is. And he would think he'd want the best for his children and the best for his ex-wife. But he knows he's trading my money. He knows he is. I have never wished ill upon him. When he got married, I wished him well, wished him the best, and let him go on their merry way. I don't bother those people, um, and I never have, but um, I don't appreciate being legally abused, and that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have reflected. Another Leo is getting a huge wake-up call. Another Leo is getting a huge wake-up call is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so I got four. Usually I only take three, but I just heard take them. So I'm going to take all four. We have a beaver, butterfly, appreciation, wildflowers, elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end, vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Uh, Horseshoe, good luck, casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Number 15 could be a very significant number in one's life, number 15. Also, for some, you could be dealing with the earth sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midham, or Jupiter charts, if you are. Beaver. A Leo feminist teenager, some 16, some 17, some 18, is about to tell you they are, they are gay. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So, um. If this resonates for you, you're a Leo femme, um, you have a son, I feel he's either your biological son or a foster son, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, he's 16, for some, he's 17, for some, he's 18, for some, he's about to tell you he's gay. So, coming out of the closet, tell you he's gay, uh, for some, I feel this is your teenage son, as the beaver energy, for some, it could be an earth sign, son, for some, it could be any other sign, but, um, He's about to come out of the closet, coming out and tell you he's gay. So you plug it in how it resonates. For some, intuitively, you knew this. For some, it's going to shock you. For some, intuitively, you knew this. For some, it's going to shock you. So for some, intuitively inside, you already knew he was gay. 
um, but he didn't tell you. For some, it's going to shock you. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So beaver energy uh, coming out of the closet. Uh, it's your teenage son, whether he's 16, 17, or 18, you plug it in, how it resonates. For one Leo fan, a very immature earth sign of your past is going to try to come offer you a business opportunity. It would not be smart. For some, it's a former co-worker. For some, it was a former lover. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So if you're a Leo fem, if this resonates for you too, heavy Leo fem energy, I feel a lot of my viewers are probably Leo fems. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, some of you guys, it's a lover of your past, so you've been sexually connected to them in some, some shape, form, or fashion. For some, it is a co-worker of the past, heard a very immature earth sign. So very immature towards Capricorn Virgo. So they're immature. Um, I don't care if they're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. They, their mentality, they don't act mentally their age. They act young. They make bad decisions, basically. Um, I'm feeling they do. Um, they're very mentally immature. Um, I don't care what age they are. I didn't hear what age they were, but it's a younger Taurus Capricorn Virgo. They have Taurus Capricorn, I'm uh, not younger, sorry, a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. A Taurus Capricorn Virgo of your past. For some, it's a lover of your past. For some, it is a um, co-worker of your past, but very immature, mentally immature. So I don't care how old they are. They're mentally immature. Um, they have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. I heard they're going to come offer you a business opportunity. But I heard also it would not be smart to accept it. They want to use you in a huge way. One, you're going to transmute the energy on them in a huge way. Okay, I heard they want to use you in a huge way, but you're about to, one of you guys is going to transmute the energy on them in a huge way. So, confirmation for my kitty. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for one, you're going to transmute the energy on them. So you're going to change the energy to benefit you. I'm assuming you're going to decline the offer. Um, for the rest of you guys, I don't know how you're going to handle it. But um, I heard, of course, everybody has free will and you can do what you want. But I heard basically it would not be smart to accept the offer. They basically just want to use you. So use your energy, time, or money. How that resonate? Some kind of business opportunity. I'm sure they're probably going to talk it up to you. Um, I would be careful. However, that resonate. Butterfly. No, for the one that transmutes the transmutes transmutes the energy, their business is going to tank in a huge way. Okay, I know. Uh, okay, so I heard for the one of you guys that's going to transmute the energy, know that their business is going to tank in a huge way. So they're going to come offer you this wonderful business opportunity or they want you to think it's wonderful. But in reality, you're the key there. You're the key and you're the missing piece. Um, they want, I heard they just want to use you. So for one, you're going to pick up on it and you're not going to accept it. And of course, you use your best intuition and logic on this. If this message isn't for you, it's not for you. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. But for whoever that's for, I heard once you transmute the energy, their business is it's not going to, I think it's probably going to fail. I heard it's going to tank in a huge way. So however that resonates and applies, I think it's going to fail like the crumbling of damn wrong. And that's just the truth. Butterfly. So much truth is about to come out very, 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 very publicly. Very publicly. It will not be able to be hidden anymore. It's about to benefit a particular high vibrational Leo in a huge way. Okay, I heard so much truth is about to come out soon. It's about to come out so publicly it cannot be hidden anymore. It's about to benefit a very high, vib high vibrational Leo in a huge way. So you can be masculine or feminine. But some kind of truth is about to come out very, very, very publicly in some shape, form, or fashion. So much, so public that basically it cannot be hidden anymore, and it's about to benefit you in a huge way. Many, 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 many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with these situations. 
So many people have wronged you in the past. They are about to get their just desserts soon. Okay, I heard basically a ton of shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with these situations soon. So many people have wronged you in the past. Um, they're about to get their just desserts soon. And a Pisces that bought a vehicle off of you, off of your back, it's about to strangely just quit working. Okay, and I heard a Pisces that bought a vehicle off your back. Um, it's about to just strangely quit working. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so can I have Piscean energy? It can be a masculine or feminine Pisces. They can have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter charts. Um, it's The vehicle's just going to quit working, I heard. Um, just out of the blue. Um, but they sounds like they used your money to do it or used or profited off of you to buy the vehicle, how that resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And the part that's not going to, that needs to be fixed is going to be very, very, very expensive and it will not be covered under warranty. And the part that needs to be, will need to be fixed is going to be very, very, very expensive and it will not be covered under warranty. I did not hear specifically what kind of, what part it was. Um, but it's going to be very, very, very expensive. I wonder if it's the damn engine. I'm just saying. Um, I don't know. But some very, very, very expensive part. Uh, it will not be covered under warranty. And um, it sounds like they're going to have to replace it on their own dime. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of Piscean energy. They got Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If it resonates for you, Leo. Butterfly. A water sign pedophile is about to start getting very, very, very ill soon. Very ill. For one of these water sign pedophiles, they will end up passing away. For one, they're going to have such a pre-existing condition, it's going to take them out of the workforce. For one, they will be on home health. Oh my God. You plug, sounds like at least three water sign pedophiles. You plug it in how it resonates. Heavy water sign pedophile energy. So, um, it can be masculine or feminine water sign pedophiles. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midham, and Jupiter charts. Um, one of them is going to be so ill, they're going to end up on home health, I heard. One of them, um, they're going to be so ill, they'll be taken, they'll have to go out of the workforce. And one, they're going to end up passing away. So you plug it in how it resonates. Heart-related conditions. It's going to be sudden and quick. A history of heart conditions. Okay, I heard heart-related conditions. Sudden and quick. It's, um... Oh, uh, my God. Heart-related conditions sudden and quick. So you plug it in how it resonates. I think that's the casket energy. Someone going out of your life or um, the end of a situation, one of these people's going to end up passing away. I didn't hear if they're masculine or feminine, but they have previous heart-related conditions. Um, I think that's the person that's about to pass away. Um, and I heard it's going to happen sudden and quickly. Heart-related conditions. So I think it might be a stroke, a TIA, um, or, or, yeah, a stroke, a TIA, a MI, or um, their blood pressure gets so high it causes them stroke out or something of that nature or a, a blood clot or something, um, like an aneurysm. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa. So um, one of them's going to pass away. Casket, there. it's a water sign pedophile. One of them's older. One is younger. Um, but there's at least three of them in the universe, masculine or feminine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, pedophiles. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, and Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. When their condition has progressed to AIDS, they will pass away soon. When their condition has progressed to AIDS and they will pass away soon. My Lord, this is serious, Leo. Um, 
but that's a lot of pedophile energy. So you plug it in how it resonates. So at least two is going to pass away. One, their condition has progressed to AIDS and they're going to pass away soon. And one, it's some kind of heart related condition. Um, they have a history of heart, heart conditions. I don't know if it's the older or the younger one. You plug it in how it resonates. Some of these people are older, some they are younger. You plug it in how it resonates. I think that's physical death energy. And one of them is going to be on home health. Um, and one's going to have to end up going out of the workforce that whatever condition they're about to acquire here is going to take them out of the workforce. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear Lord of mercy. Butterfly. Psychic attacks on gifted readers and psych psychics, true psychic mediums, are about to seriously backfire on many people very soon. Attacking very gifted people. It's about to energetically back backfire in the universe. Gifted Leos. Okay, I heard psychic attacks on psychic, um, very gifted psychics and very gifted uh, Leo readers. Um, is about to seriously backfire on many people. And I think that's this for some of these people. Uh, for some, it could be some other kind of way uh, the psychic attacks are basically about to um, backfire. Energetic. I heard energetically backfire. So something negative is going to happen to them because they have been attacking you and you're a psychic. Uh, for some, you're very highly gifted readers. For some, you're psychic. So for some, I feel they've been um, throwing you blows in the spiritual realm is what I feel. And it's about to energetically boomerang back on them. And for some, I feel they might end up with some kind of mental issues. Um, because it, when you throw psychic spiritual attacks on very high vibrational, high level people in the spiritual realm, it automatically boomerangs back and returns to sender. Um, and I'm just being for real. For one of these people, will it will be in the form of mental issues. For one of these people, it will be in the form of mental issues. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of these people, it won't be. For one, it will be. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible. Psychic attack energy, but, I, but you're still flourishing, Leo. You're still the butterfly. I feel you were in the cocoon and you have risen and transformed and spread your wings, my dear. And you're still the butterfly, but these people, they wanted, they want, didn't want you to be butterfly. They wanted you to be the cocoon. They wanted to hold you down and hold you down and hold you down. But you have progressed so far in the spiritual realm, whether you're, uh, I feel it's at least two readers I'm speaking to here. Uh, one heavy psychic energy, one very gifted reader. Um, you could be a psychic or not. You plug it in how it resonates. Basically, um, they can't touch you spiritually. They cannot touch you spiritually. It just boomerangs back and returns to sender. So you're still the butterfly. You plug it in how it resonates. For one, you're about to move out of a very toxic community. One soon within the next month, one within the next three months. It's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to move out of a toxic community, one within the next month, one within the next three months. I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. So um, you're in a very toxic community, but whoever this is for, whether you're the very gifted reader, high vibrational gifted reader, or the high vibrational psychic, because there's low vibrational psychics too, and that's just the truth. Um, it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. I think you're going to be able to spread your wings and transform and grow where... Your toxic community has done nothing but hold you down and uh, try to entrap you and basically just use you. Um, and I feel for some, it was it's in the form of your current, uh, I'm not your current, your uh, former lovers or for, former immature co-worker trying to come back with a business idea. 
Nay, 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 said the little red hen. Just saying, just saying. Of course, you have free will and you can take them on it if you want. I wouldn't. Appreciation, number 15, can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 15, appreciation. An air sign is about to be humiliated in public. Humiliated through many series of chain of events. Very low vibrational pedophile. They are about to be humiliated. The past is about to catch up with this low vibrational air sign in a huge way. And the person that's about to identify them of the past, they're about to make a very important phone call to a very important person. High vibrational person is going to create many negative series of chain of events for this air sign. For one, they are unemployed. For one, they, are, they work for the state. You plug it in how it resonates, dear God. So two low vibrational pedophile air signs. We are pulling in such pedophile energy in here, um, Leo. Two low, low vibrational pedophile air signs. Um, they are very much in the public eye or they go out in public a lot. One's unemployed and one works for the state. Um, they're Gemini, they have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter, Taurus. One owns their own business. One owns their own, but there's three. One owns their own business. Okay, so one owns their own business. One is unemployed and one works for the state. That's all I heard. Um, masculine or femme, air signs, they have Gemini, Gemini Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter, charge, so all pedophiles. But somebody out in public, they're about to be very publicly humiliated because somebody out in public is about to recognize they're a pedophile. Um, they're about to remember them from the past in some shape, form, or fashion regarding some kind of pedophile activity. And I heard the person, the high vibrational person out public is about to identify them from the past of this pedophile activity. And they're about to communicate with somebody else very high, high vibrational. And it's going to create negative series of chain of events for them. And somehow it's going to um, humiliate them in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, one of these people, through many series of chain of events, will end up losing their job. One of these people, through many series of chain of events, will end up losing their job. So I'm assuming that's the person that works for the state, because one's unemployed and one is self-employed. So I'm assuming that's the person that works for the state, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, and, uh, yeah, oh, dear God. Um, but they should be pedophiles, and that's just the truth. Um, let's see if I hear anything else. These people are not going to mess around. Not at all. They're about to communicate the past in a huge way. And legal action is going to come to these people. Okay, I heard they're going to communicate the past in a huge way and legal action is going to come to these people. So I'm assuming that's what the, the negative karma is coming for these people. Because uh, these people are going to communicate the past in a huge way. Sounds like to somebody very, 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 this person is going to see one of these, one or two or two plus these people out in public, whether it's the person that works for the state, the unemployed person, or the business owner. Um, and they're going to communicate it about the past and pedophile activity of these people to a very important person, high vibrational person, and it's going to create negative series of chain of events for them. One of the, per the person that works for the state is um, going to lose their job because it can't be the self-employed person or the unemployed person. Um, and I heard a heavy legal action is going to come for these people. So these people, I think, might file legal action on these people. Um, hopefully they uh, create a series of chain of events to put them on the, uh, what's it called? The watch list, the predator watch list, the pedophile watch list. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called. The predator watch list, pedophile watch list, um, whatever that is called. Um, that identifies pedophiles and predators in your community. Um, however, that resonates and applies. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I hope so, because I heard heavy legal actions coming for these people um, because of some kind of pedophile activity of the past. 
Good for you. So, ma'am, if you resonate in this category over here and you are these people about to see these people in public and create these negative series of chain events for them, kudos to you, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, okay? Appreciation. A particular Leo is about to get a lot of appreciation and respect when they once did not. People are really, 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 really seeing the real truth now. Okay, I heard a particular Leo is about to get a lot of lots of appreciation and respect when they once did not. People are really, really, really seeing the real truth now. So appreciation and respect, like honor will come to you, sir, ma'am, because people are really, really seeing the real truth about something. Um, I think one of you guys fights heavy against pedophiles, and I'm just being serious. I, I'm serious. I think one of you guys fights heavy against pedophiles or against sex trafficking or against or against the bad behavior, the really negative low vibrational behavior of the world. And, and I'm just being for real. Um, because some reason you did not get honor and respect or appreciation in the past, but your community or people of a community or people period are seeing the real truth now when they did not in the past. Um, and so that's why I feel you're about to get honor and respect and appreciation. It could be in your community or another community or what have you, what have you. It could be a social media community. It could be a physical 3D community. It could be another community, physical 3D community outside your community. You plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Wildflowers. A particular Leo is about to get sent flowers soon. It's about to shock the hell out of them. Okay, I heard a particular Leo is about to get sent flowers soon. It's about to shock the hell out of them. Well, you go with your bad self. You'd be a man or a woman, masculine or femme. You're about to get sent flowers soon. I feel your single's a Pringle, sir, ma'am. Your single's a Pringle. Um, I don't, or you could have a partner and maybe they just haven't sent you flowers in a hot minute. How that resonates, but. You're about to get sent flowers soon, and it's about to shock the hell out of you, whether you have a partner or don't have a partner. How that resonates. Thank you, sir. And a death is about to occur in Leo's life, and a floral arrangement at a funeral is about to become very significant. Okay, and a death is about to occur in Leo's life. And a particular floral arrangement is about to become um, significant um, at this funeral. So my condolences to whoever um, is about to pass away in whoever's life. Um, some kind of floral arrangement at this funeral is about to become very significant in your life. Um, whoever you are and how that applies, Leo, my condolences. And that could be the... Um, uh, the casket energy too, someone going out of your life for the end of the situation. Heavy death energy in here. Um, heavy death energy. A medical malpractice lawsuit is about to become very significant in a Leo's life in a current workplace situation. And a Leo is about to place a medical malpractice lawsuit on someone. Oh my Lord. A medical malpractice lawsuit is about to become very significant in a Leo's life in a current workplace situation. For one of you guys, that for one, I heard you're going to place a medical malpractice lawsuit on someone. So um, maybe somebody passed away 
due to something and um, you're going to, I mean, I'm not sure. You plug in how it resonates. We have the casket card, some kind of medical malpractice lawsuit energy. One, you're in a workspace and I think you're about to get involved in it. Uh, one, you're about to place a medical malpractice lawsuit on somebody. Um, I think somebody might have passed away. Um, um, you plug it in how it resonates. You plug it in how it resonates. This is serious. Woo. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Secrets are about to come out in a huge way on people's illnesses. To people they don't want them to come to in ways they would have never expected. Oh my God, you plug it in how it resonates. Secrets are about to come out on people's illnesses in ways people don't want them to in ways they don't expect it. Um, that's violation of protected health information and HIPAA. Just saying, just saying. But somehow some kind of secrets are about to come out on people's health conditions they don't want them to come out on, basically. Um, and it's about to happen soon and quickly. Soon and quickly. And I heard basically it's about to happen in ways these people don't expect it to come out on. Um, they don't want their... They want their protected health information to stay protected um, and HIPAA to be followed, but somehow it's about to come out whether they want it to or not. Some is gossipy people at a hospital. Some is gossipy people at a hospital. Some is gossipy people at a skilled nursing facility. Some is gossipy people at a skilled nursing facility. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So somebody's health conditions are about to come out. Um, some of these people, it sounds like the residents at skilled nursing facilities, some they, um, some they're in a hospital and the people that work in the hospital are about to speak on their health conditions is what it sounds like. For some, it's employees at a skilled nursing facility about to gossip about people's um, health conditions. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. This is terrible is what this is. A bunch of gossipy gales uh, and gossipy Gary's if you ask me. It's about to create a shit storm in a community. It's about to create a shitstorm in a community is what I heard. Yeah, well, because you, you shouldn't be employed in a um, hospital or a skilled nursing facility and be running your gabber on people's health conditions because that is violation of HIPAA and protected health information. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. A particular Leo is highly intuitive. They know their child has been mentally manipulated by Stockholm Syndrome and child grooming. They are about to really stand up for this child in a huge way in the court of law. Not afraid. Well, that's not depression, anxiety, somebody's, well, it could be karmic person taking you to court. Somebody's taking you to court over child or children, Leo, uh, whoever you are. Um, somebody's taking you to court over child or children, but I heard you know your child or ch children, however that resonates, um, has been basically child groomed and Stockholm Syndrome, which Stockholm Syndrome is very, very, very real. For anybody who doesn't know, you can Google it. It's very real. Um, that's not karmic children. That's karmic adults grooming karmic children, uh, if anybody needs to hear that. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not grooming karmic children, grooming children to be karmic children. Um, children can still be saved if they're around the appropriate parental um, person or people, and that's just the truth. Uh, another Leo is getting a huge wake-up call. Another Leo is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. If you're around the right person or parent or parents, and they're not Stockholm syndrome syndroming their child or child grooming their child, then that's the healthy copacetic 
environment for the child to grow. I don't care if this person makes $5 a year or $5 billion a year. Um, you need children, you need parent or parents that love, nurture, and appreciate their child or children to grow into and manifest into the child or children that they should be. Um, to make independent decisions when they're adults, to be able to stand on their own two feet, not to Stockholm syndrome them or child groom them or to beat them down, to be fearful of people. Um, if anybody needs to hear that. Um, but somebody's been trying to make you depressed, I think through a court situation, a legal situation, Leo. Um, but I heard you're going to fight it. You're going to fight in the court of law, stand up for your child or children um, because of Stockholm syndrome and child grooming. Um, and absolutely, uh, I don't blame you. So they want you to be depressed and anxious and want you to be all worried going up in this in the court of law. But whoever you uh, are, I feel you're high vibrational. And I feel you haven't done anything to um, be worried or depressed. And you know you're the best fit for your child or children. And you're going to basically stand in the court of law and say so, is what I feel in here. Um, that's exactly what I feel in. Very high vibrational Leo. Not afraid. Very high vibrational Leo. Not afraid is what I heard. Well, you go with your bad self, ma'am or sir, whoever you are. You can be a man or a woman. Um, you've got a child custody battle coming up is what it sounds like. Um, you're not afraid. And you know your child or children has been child groomed or Stockholm syndrome. Um, and that's a very real thing. It's a very real condition. That's what creates karmic children. But... If you can remove the children from the karmic adult or adults, and some of you guys, it might be pedophiles, and I'm just being for real, it can save them, and that's the truth, if you put them around the right energy. An air sign is getting a huge wake-up call. An air sign is getting a huge wake-up call. Gemini Libra Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. If anybody needs to hear that. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. There's about to be a call for a very significant interview, a very, uh, a long distance from you. For one, it's Tennessee. For one, it's North Carolina. For one, it's Texas. It will be very wise decision to go to this interview. For one, you will travel to get, get there. For one, they will pay for it. For one, it will be over the phone. Okay, so a very significant interview coming soon. They're very, very, very interested in you. They're very, very, very interested in you is what I heard. They're very interested in you. So for one of you guys, it's at Tennessee. So wherever state you're, or location you're currently, or country you're currently in, these are United States, um, just ain't saying. One is Tennessee, one is Texas, one is North Carolina. They're very, very, very interested in you, but I'm presuming you don't live in Tennessee, North Carolina, or Texas. It sounds like they're about to headhunt you. It sounds like they're about to headhunt you. Um, for some, it is going to be over the phone, I heard. Um, so like Google Duo or FaceTime or something of that nature. For one, it's going to be an in-person interview, it sounds like, but I heard they're going to pay for the... Um, expenses to get you there basically so um that will be good so that's a long journey physically um and we'll leave you wiser at the end so i guess uh meeting with the person or people with the interview uh figure out um it sounds like they're going to headhunt you they are definitely going to headhunt you they are definitely going to headhunt you and that could be the appreciation too they appreciate you they know you you do good work they know you um they've seen your work i'm guessing and they know um, you would be a good fit for the position or positions. And so they want to interview you. Um, whoever this is for, I think it's a very nice position. I'll tell you that. So much so that they'd be willing to pay for your expenses to travel to go see them. So, um, but the uh, leave you wiser at the end, I think, um, you know, figure out if it's a good position for you or good fit for you. They need to figure out if you are a good fit for them. I mean, because good fits go both ways. You fitting into whatever position it is, does it work for you? You put, um, them figuring out if you are a good fit for them, do you work for them? I mean, it's mutual. Good fit positions are both ways. 
not oh let me go stalk this person to the bitter end and they are going to be my little pretty ha 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 no not like that that is not the way it should be if anybody needs to hear that force you good luck A particular Leo, very high vibrational Leo, is about to experience a lot of good luck and good karma. It has been a long time farming, coming, farming, farming, coming. And a, a very low vibrational Leo, karmic Leo, is about to experience lots of bad luck. Well, that's pretty short and to the point, so you plug it in how it resonates. Uh... One particular Leo has been using cloaking spells to cloak their energy. But one person is about to see right through this. And it's about to really, really, really not benefit you in a huge way. You plug in how it resonates. i got to hurry. I've got to pee. I'm sorry. We're almost an hour in. So, um, one of you guys, um, you're very high vibrational. Um, oh, Lord, i got to pee so bad. You're very high vibrational and basically... Um, you're about to receive a lot of good luck, good luck and good karma, and um, you're about to receive a lot of good luck and good karma. One, you're low vibrational. You've been using cloaking spell energy, basically. You apparently are on the dark art side there, man or sir. And basically, the mask is about to be ripped off. One person's about to see it. Um, and I heard it's going to not benefit you, and it's not going to benefit you because somebody's seeing your false mask, basically. Um Others might not see your false mask, but this one person does. And whoever this one person is, it's they're apparently very important to you or to a situation. So however that resonates, um, Leo, whoever you are, sir or ma'am, okay? Um, it's about to shock the hell out of you, but this person sees right through it. It's about to shock the hell out of you, but this person sees right through it. So you plug it in how it resonates, um, Leo. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A significant court winning soon and a shocking positive series of chain of events is going to leave a Leo, very high vibrational Leo, and a very good financial standing after this. They have been beat down and beat down and beat down. Positive karma is coming. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So... Oh my God, I got to be so bad. So, a particular Leo that it sounds like um, they have been beat down and beat down and beat down in some shape, form, or fashion, but some kind of shocking um, court win coming soon for you. You're a high vibrational Leo. You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. But you could be a masculine and Leo, have Leo in any aspect of your charts. But basically, um, some kind of shocking court win coming for you. And somehow it's going to some kind of shocking series of chain of events in this court situation or. What what it whatever it is, it can be anything. Um family family court or criminal or what have you, um, it's about to leave you in a good financial standing. Um, I think you were worried going into this that you wasn't gonna be in a, a good financial standing. I think you were thinking of legal fees and court fees, which those God trust me, I know they are very expensive. But um but somehow it's gonna leave you in a very good financial standing. A very, 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 very good financial standing. A lot of truth has already come out. More is coming out. And it's about to really help you out in a huge way. A very, very, very good financial standing. I heard a lot of truth coming out. More is coming out. And it's about to help you in a huge way in this court situation. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Um, oh, my God, I got to pee. Through many series of chain events, a very low vibrational Libra is about to end up in jail soon. Know this. And a very low vibrational Scorpio. It's about to benefit you in huge ways. And a low vibrational Gemini. It's about to benefit you in huge ways. 
Ooh, I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Through many shocking series of chain events, a very low vibrational Libra in the energy, Scorpio energy, and Gemini energy. They could be masculine, fan, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini. They could have Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Orca, Main Haver, Jupiter charts. Heard through many shocking series of chain events, they're about to end up in jail, and it's about to benefit you in a huge way. I've really got to go. I got to pee. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day, and I'm going to say.